What's up guys, in this video I will share with you my coaching tips to help you achieve and improve some of my favorite monkey bar and calisthenics moves. Moves such as the human flag, the dragon flag, the bar muscle up, the ring muscle ups, my top monkey bar techniques, top handstand drills for shoulder strength, and flying monkeys or lachet. On the screen now you will see the times for each tutorial for each exercise in this video. So you can skip ahead to the exercise you want to see or you can use it as a reference point if you want to revisit this video. Muscle up on the bar is one of the most satisfying calisthenics moves. Here are some exercises to help you achieve the full movement. Practicing this drill here on the low bar allows me to use my feet on the floor as assistance. And the emphasis here is to snap the elbows and the chest up over the bar. So the hands start under the bar, it's that quick snap on top, getting the chest up over. The way I do the bar muscle up is to get the explosive movement, so bands can help for this also. Using the band will help with the timing and enabling us to practice that explosive movement. As well as the bar muscle up, there's also the gym ring muscle up. Recently my ring muscle ups have improved and it's largely because I've implemented these drills into my routine. So first we need a false grip, which looks like so. Then we can strengthen this grip by using conditioning exercises such as inverted rows and even pull-ups. Once we've become stronger and more used to this grip, we can work on the technique by getting chest up to the rings and then rotating the rings outward, trying to keep the rings close to the side of the body. Feet on the floor as assistance, and we can also use the band. Once again, all the time we're strengthening the grip and perfecting the technique. looking to build shoulder and core strength for handstands give these drills a go. To hold a handstand for any length of time requires a good level of skill. These skills are best acquired by simply practicing handstands. These next exercises will help build up shoulder and core strength for the handstand. The pipe press up is one of if not the best shoulder exercise certainly for bodyweight training. The aim is to get the hips as high as possible so they're stacked over the shoulders and then aim the head down in front of the hands. And this is one of my favorite bodyweight exercises, full stop. Good for shoulders, but also a very good core exercise. Any suspension trainer can be used. And it's also good practice once you can get to that vertical position at holding the handstands. The human flag is an impressive display of strength and a good hold to master. Give these regressions a go. Three essential components, push of the bottom arm, pull of the top and strong top side obliques. The angle flag shown here is good for working on the top arm which is the pulling arm. The focus is to pull the arm down into the rib cage. Pull down to activate the shoulder depressors. And then we have the flag dead hang, which is a good way to strengthen the bottom arm, which is the pushing arm. 
Good to practice front on and side on. And then we can use flag bounces to work on the top side obliques, aiming to get the hip up towards the top shoulder. And another form of flag is the dragon flag. So many areas involved with this one. It's abs, it's lats, it's arms, it's hip flexors. Lots of strengthening and conditioning needed. Having the upper back down on the floor and pushing up against the bar will make this exercise so much easier than the full version. So this in itself is a good regression, focusing on control on the way down, making sure we get a good negative rep. Bending one leg reduces the load further. Obviously make sure you do the same with the other leg. And then we can also use the band, both feet in the band for assistance. Control the down phase, and you can even do one leg in the band for less help. Monkey bar training has transferable skills for other bar workouts, and it's a fun way to work out. I have already done several videos on monkey bars, so check them out, but here is just a quick overview. In this section, I will look at three monkey bar techniques, the full swing, the side swing, which will be a more advanced version of the side swing, and the upside down, yeah, thank you, and the upside down crawl. The full swing requires good grip strength, so generally it's one to work up to do. It works lats, chest, abs, and obliques. Once you master the technique, it's quick and efficient. The side swing I would generally recommend for beginners, although this is a more advanced version. It's a strong grip. Here you can see I'm crossing the hands over, two hands on each bar, and then here keeping hands apart. Get a bigger swing by using the legs and the hips and missing bars out. And the upside down crawl is a total body movement, upper body, lower body, and core. Make sure you have adequate strength before attempting this as risk of injury is higher. And moving on to my final tutorial, the lachet. This is another risky move, although impressive to see. Make sure you're aware of the risks and you have good workout experience on bars before attempting. And these are my coaching tips. Knees up and a big kick to get a big backward swing. As we release, keep the knees up high and then the body comes through after. So it's the release. If you see my knees, they're almost touching the bar before my hands get there. Just that big kick, knees up, big swing back. And you'll see as I release, I'm almost horizontal in my body. Knees are up high. And then the body comes through, so I'm almost over the bar and coming down onto it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to concentrate on any of these moves individually for more in-depth tutorials. Thanks for watching guys. Please check out the other videos on my channel for more tips and tricks. I will see you very soon on the next video.